Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you have had a good weekend because the weekend was pretty good for me this time. I actually had quite a bit of time to play the game, to experiment on more glitches, and of course to record whatever I find and share them with you. So I was mucking around with a lot of these glitches and also asking around. There is finally a workaround for the F1 and Benny's wheels glitch that I used to do a lot of. And in this video today, I'm going to show you all how to do it. So you'll need an MOC, it does not need to be modded, but please put on custom plates for your MOC. To glitch F1 wheels, you will need an F1 car. To glitch Benny's wheels, you will just need any uh, Benny's custom cars that can accept those wheels. I'm also doing this out of the arena because I think it's the most suitable location because it has both um, Benny's mechanic and also the normal mechanic. Once you have all of that ready, we can proceed and start with the glitch. Now starting off in the arena, what you want to do is to get into your F1 car and drive it out of the arena. Once you are outside, get a wanted level for yourself so that the cops will come running. So what you want to do here is to get wasted while you are near your car and then respawn. Now that you've respawned, first open up your phone and check for your assistant where the location is because you're going to have to call her very quickly later. After that, open up your interaction menu, go to services, go to Kasatka and request for your sub. Immediately after that, pull out your phone, call your assistant and get her to retrieve your impounded car. It is important that you do this very, very quickly. If not, the glitch will not work. If you've done it correctly, you should see the car icon in the sea. Next, open up your interaction menu, go to your MOC and call it in. So you wait here for about 10 seconds and you should see your car spawn very near you and the MOC spawn somewhere nearby. So your car has spawned and um, the MOC location is pretty nearby as well. So let's run towards that. Once at the MOC, you want to get into this merged car. It looks a bit weird because the MOC has merged onto it, but yeah, just get into the car. And after that, open up your interaction menu, go to vehicles and return your personal vehicle to storage. And after you have done that, pull out your phone and use your mechanic to call in the car that you want your F1 wheels on. So I'm going to call out my Arden that is actually in Office Garage 1 and it should spawn nearby almost immediately. Once you see the personal vehicle icon on the map, just drive your current vehicle into the back of the MOC and press E to accept. Once you are inside the MOC, just exit the MOC on foot and then go right back in. Now that you're back inside the MOC, just get into your F1 car and exit the MOC. Once you have spawned outside, just drive the F1 car back into the arena and back into the workshop level. Once you're inside the arena, you'll actually see that you have spawned a duplicate, but don't worry about that. It's just for the time being. And this red car that you just drove in is actually the Ardent. So get back into the car, press E to modify. And once you get inside the garage, you can actually scroll to the wheel section. And from there, you will see that you can actually choose F1 wheels. So what is happening here is in this glitch, the game thinks that we are in an F1 vehicle and it allows us to buy the F1 wheels. But in fact, the car is actually the Ardent and that's how the glitch works. Remember, anything that you want to transfer over to the Ardent, you will have to buy it off uh, from here. If you did not pay for it, it will not transfer. So over here, you can purchase the wheels, the, the wheel color, bulletproof tires, and even tire smoke. And of course, the custom lettering. 
Everything else you can actually upgrade on the Arden later. So once you're done, just exit the workshop and put the car back into the arena. And what you're going to want to do next is to actually go to creator mode. So open up your pause menu, go online and then go to creator mode and wait for it to load in. Once you are in creator mode though, you'll want to open up the pause menu again, go online and choose to go into an invite only session. Now that you've spawned back into a session, let's go look at the car. So the original F1 car is still there. And in place of the duplicate earlier, you see the Ardent with the F1 wheels. Also, now the Ardent has a license plate that is from the MOC. And that was the reason why I had advised you to put on custom plates onto your MOC. So there, the glitch is done, the F1 tires are yours to keep and I just wanted to show you um, by calling the mechanic that my Ardent is no longer at the Office Garage 1. So we did not create a dupe or a duplicate. So now we have an easier method just to glitch on wheels just like before. So for those of you who have been waiting, thank you for your patience and a big shout out over to Mikari at 7 Sins Forum for helping to figure this out. Do drop a like and subscribe for more quality content that's coming your way. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.